If you're an early career data analyst or career transitioner looking to stand out in today's really competitive job market, just a heads up that networking messages like this are not actually that effective. Instead, in today's video, I'm going to show you the exact template that I developed for students in my mentorship program that gets them interviews within days, sometimes even hours, and it helps them stand out from the stack. If you're just tuning in, I'm Christine. I'm a former data director and hiring manager and also founder of the Analytics Accelerator program, which takes students from aspiring to stand out. So let's dive in. All right, so I first wanna go over why it's important to avoid the void and how you can do that by networking, by showing value. Then I have a quick note on timing and how to get the timing right and also how to find the right people. And lastly, I just wanna leave you with a quick thought on a mindset shift that can really help transform your job hunt process. All right, so this is a message I got from a student just the other day where he said, my message to the recruiter posting on LinkedIn worked out. I have a one hour behavior with the operations team lead either on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's a healthcare tech startup with about 50 employees and and if this interview goes well, it'll be a take home SQL test. Scary, but don't worry, I'm gonna do more videos about that. Then a final round or two rounds with exec members confirmed for Wednesday so we can chat about it at office hours and pretty excited about this one. Now I get messages from students like this all the time. And in the end, when I looked back at the students who got the jobs most quickly, about half of students who landed data jobs over the last year began their interview process through value-driven networking. First, I wanna show you what value-driven networking is not, okay? It's not message that look like this. So, hey, Christine, thanks for connecting. I hope you're doing well. I'm currently pursuing my master's in data science and business analytics from the university. I am seeking some spring 2024 internships and some full-time opportunities at Vimeo for the roles of data science, BA, DA, or business intelligence. And I would be really grateful if you could help me with a referral to help me set up an interview in those respective roles. As much as I would really genuinely like to help everyone who sends a message like this, imagine that for hiring managers and recruiters, their inbox actually looks something like this. I mean, my all time favorite is, hello ma'am, can you help? You can see that these messages are going to get lost in the void. So how do we actually avoid that? Well, we're gonna use something called value-driven networking. And there's three main pillars here. One, you're gonna stand out from the stack, don't ask, show, and also you're gonna get the timing right. So what that means is highlighting your unique experience and data analyst qualities, and then highlighting how they relate to that specific job. For don't ask show, because recruiters are busy people, asking them for help with just a little bit of context is not gonna get you very far. Instead, you should show them something that will make them want to help you. And then lastly, there's the technique and then there's the actual timing. So both are actually crucial. You're gonna watch the end to understand how to nail the timing of your messages. So here we go. This is the actual template that students in the mentorship program use. Hi, hiring manager, I hope you're well. I was excited to see your job posting for a role at this company. Then have a brief sentence about why you're particularly interested in that role that company or that mission. And while I've submitted my application through the job portal link, I thought it wise to reach out directly about my motivation and experience and then have two to three really compelling reasons that show that you really have applicable experience for that specific job. Please see attached my resume. I'm sure there's plenty of qualified applicants for the position, but I think I'm uniquely positioned to hit the ground running with your team and I'd be thrilled to have the opportunity to speak with you about the role. So let's see what this looks like in action. This is another message from a student. And he said, so the winning recruiter message was this and came packaged with my resume. Um, Hi, Candace. First, I wanted to thank you for providing such a detailed description for the associate analyst role you posted on LinkedIn. While it appears the job opening is now closed on your company page, I thought it wise to send along my credentials. As someone with experience creating original content for a healthcare company who is well-versed in analytics tools like Excel, Tableau, and SQL, this position presents a great opportunity to combine my past experiences to drive success at Haymarket. Please see attached my resume. I'm sure there are plenty of other qualified candidates for this position, but I think I'm uniquely positioned to hit the ground running with your team. And then that came packaged with a stellar resume, two stellar projects, and also the student was equipped with the right interview framework so that in the end, he got an interview within just a few days. The interview process took four weeks, and then he doubled his salary from a year ago. Let's look at another example from another student. So this was to the scientific program director for a research associate role. And it says, hi, Steven. I was excited to learn about an opportunity for a research associate to join the long COVID team. I deeply resonate with this company's mission to unlock the full potential of every FDA approved drug to save patients' lives. While I've already submitted my application through the job portal link, I wanted to reach out directly to reiterate my excitement about the role. I'm a great fit for the position because my academic background 
in biomedical research means I'm a strong analytical thinker. I've worked across multidisciplinary scientific teams and have extensive experience conducting literature reviews. I also bring to the table excellent communication skills and a sharp eye for detail honed from working in the high stakes environment of life sciences patent law. I'm proficient in various data analytics tools and have leveraged my technical skill set to derive actionable insights across several industries from voter records to gene expression data. While I have no doubt that there are plenty of qualified applications for this position, I think I'm uniquely positioned to hit the ground running with the team. A copy of my resume is attached here for your reference. I would be thrilled to have the opportunity to speak with you or anyone in your organization about the role. Now for this student, she eventually got interviews within hours, and we also have many other responses like this. Notice here that in the end, the incentive for the recruiter or the hiring manager was flipped. Instead of just asking them for help, even though you know they don't really know you, you've actually flipped the incentive to make it so that you potentially are helping them with their job search because you're potentially such a strong fit. The other thing is notice the specificity of the reasons that this student provided. Now, all of you who have worked in different industries or even recently graduated from school have unique experiences that contribute to you being a strong data analyst. So I really encourage you to really deeply reflect on what those personality traits are, what those experiences are, and be able to craft a narrative around what it is that you bring to the table that is unique to your resume. Now, when it comes to timing, this is really important because the job market is getting more and more competitive for data analyst jobs, but but it is worth it to get to the other side. The thing is you wanna make sure that you're in the first batch as much as you can. So you wanna to aim to land a networking message to the recruiter or the hiring manager within the first three days of posting. And in a sec, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to strategically search for the right people. So in the end, by this point, you should have a stellar resume and at least two to three stellar portfolio projects where you're using the tools as an actual system. Check out my portfolio video for that. Then you send out these messages to the hiring managers or the recruiters that you're seeing online. And then hopefully you've also prepared for interviews. So then that gets you to the next stage of the job hunt process. All right, so in terms of strategic searching, there's a number of different ways that you can do this and you need to think a little bit more creatively than just cold applying. The first one is to actually follow LinkedIn influencers who repost new job postings. So these show up on your newsfeed and follow me on LinkedIn because I am gonna be reposting some of these things um, from those LinkedIn influencers so that those can be at the top of your newsfeed as well. Use LinkedIn premium. I think it's about 30 to $40 a month, which while you're job searching can be really worth it because you can see hiring managers who posted job descriptions. I think you can see that even without LinkedIn premium, but you're able to send them longer in-mail messages, which is important for the note that I just showed you. Search for technical recruiters. So if you see a job that's posted by a company, but you can't find the actual recruiter, go to the company's LinkedIn page, search for technical recruiter, and also look specifically for people who have recent LinkedIn activity because they're more likely to accept your connection request and also accept your in-mail. And then lastly, you can also search for hiring data analyst in the actual LinkedIn search bar to see recently posted jobs. So let me just show you what these two things look like really quick. Um, if I go to, okay. So for the first one, um, let's say I saw a job description or a job posting by hims and hers for a data job and there wasn't a hiring manager attached to it. Then I would go to people and then I would also look at the technical recruiter. So technical recruiters are usually the people who are doing screenings for um, data jobs or software engineering jobs. And then I would actually go and click on these profiles and try to do a little bit of research to see who are the people who most recently had some activity and then send a connection request with just a really, really short version of that template and then send that longer message. And then for hiring data analysts, you can see that in the search bar here, I've just typed hiring data analyst. And what you will see are the most recent posts from all over the place which means you are going to have to do a bit more filtering and due diligence on your own to find the good job postings. This will show you the most recent statuses where the people who have posted, you know, hiring data analysts with a job description, they probably are actually open to reading their messages and open to your connection requests. I just had a student the other day who just saw one of his like dream data jobs posted here. He sent a LinkedIn message and that got him an interview within a few days with his really strong resume. So here you can see we're hiring, looking for a business analyst three, senior 
senior analyst, um, and then there are often sometimes more early career data analyst roles as well, but you do have to do a little bit of that filtering on your own. So I just wanna leave you with a quick mindset tip that helps a lot of students when I see them getting a bit scattered when it comes to the job hunt process, and that is always to focus on the 20% of things that is gonna get you 80% of the way there. So instead of spreading yourself thin when it comes to the resume, the projects, going to job hunt fairs, instead each week just focus on one to two main things. And remember, for this job hunt, the key pillars are a standout resume, standout portfolio projects, and then also sending out those networking messages because sending out 10 networking messages is going to be much more effective than sending out 20 cold applications these days. All right, that's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tips on how to go from aspiring to standout, and I'll see you guys soon.